Sarah, explain to me what happened yesterday at my wedding. Your actions were disruptive and disrespectful. You caused a great deal of stress and anxiety for myself and my guests. My wedding was nearly called off because of you. I hope you are mature enough to take responsibility for your actions and apologize to me and my husband. Sis, I don't have a clue what you're talking about because I didn't do anything wrong at your wedding. In fact, I just wanted to spice things up a little bit. Honestly, <laughs> your wedding was so lame and boring, the guests nearly fell asleep. If I didn't do something about it, everyone would just pick up their asses and leave. <laughs> so that's why you invited my ex-boyfriend to my wedding, huh? You know better than anyone how crazy Jacob can get, and you know how difficult it was for me to finally cut ties with him. I had to change my phone number, email, and even move to another house to avoid being constantly disturbed by him after we broke up. Oh, Grace, how could you say such a thing about Jacob? He's a crowd pleaser in nature. Actually, he was the life of the party. You'd be lying if you said that Jacob wasn't the center of attention at your wedding yesterday. What are you saying? This was my wedding with Logan, not Jacob's. We should have been the center of attention, not him and his stupid jokes. He was so wasted that he fell all over the place, even on other guests. <laughs> yeah, he was three sheets to the wind and couldn't even stand up straight. <laughs> not only that, he kept injecting his twisted humor and joking about our good old days together, which made me embarrassed and... Logan so furious that I thought steam was actually coming out of his ears. How could you possibly think that was okay? Jacob's behavior was disrespectful to me, Logan, and our guests. He almost ruined our wedding! <laughs> yeah, how could I forget Jacob's jokes? Jacob said something about having an entire collection of your underwear and still keeping track of your monthly cycle. <laughs> what was even more hilarious was the part when he kneeled down and proposed to you. I didn't have to be in your husband's shoes to tell how confused, embarrassed, and angry he was. Can you please stop laughing about it, Sarah? Don't think what happened is funny because it literally ruined everyone's mood. Ugh, you don't have any sense of humor at all, Grace. To be honest, you're such a cold-blooded person for turning down Jacob's proposal. He was so drunk and vulnerable and you just crushed his very last hopes and dreams. You should have said yes to Jacob and let me get married to Logan instead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? Sarah, are you even listening to yourself right now? It was my wedding with Logan, not with Jacob. I'm done with Jacob a long time ago because of his excessive neediness and controlling behaviors. He would text me a thousand times a day to know where I was, he didn't let me hang out with my friends, and he would get jealous over the smallest things. He even threw a fit at me because I forgot to text him goodnight one or two times. Ugh, okay, okay, but let's be serious. How could you refrain yourself from laughing your head off when you saw Jacob clinging to your wedding dress and begging you to get back together with him, I mean? <laughs> it was something straight out of a comedy film. <laughs> so, were you just trying to make fun of me at my wedding, Sarah? I'm honestly asking because it sure seems like you were. Oh, Grace. I can't believe you see me as that kind of person. Why would I ever want to ruin my own sister's wedding? Please don't make such an accusation. It really hurts my feelings. Fine. Then how do you justify your actions of sticking your finger in my wedding cake and spilling red wine on my dress? Do you have any idea how expensive they are? 
The cake was a hefty $5,000 and my husband has to shell out over $10,000 for my wedding dress rental. Since the rental dress had a large red wine stain on it, we also had to pay extra for compensation. Goodness grace, I was just trying to lighten the mood. I know you were stressed out about your wedding, but you didn't have to be so serious all the time. It was your wedding, not a funeral. Just chill out every now and then, will you? Seriously, how can you make it seem like it's not a big deal? Imagine if someone caused all those troubles at your own wedding. What would you think? Tell me if you wouldn't feel hurt and offended. Well, yeah, of course. If someone did that sort of thing at my own wedding, I would definitely rage with anger and tear that person apart in an instant. But come on, Grace. I am your sister. I mean, that's what siblings always do. They make fun of each other, pull pranks on each other, and even stir up some troubles at each other's wedding. It's how we sisters show our affection and strengthen our family ties. Um, no, I don't think so, Sarah. I believe that weddings are one of the most important events in a person's life. And as such, they should be celebrated in a formal and traditional way. Of course, we can still have some fun and make jokes, but there's a big difference between that and causing complete chaos. Grace, don't be so dramatic. I know your wedding was a bit of a mess, but it wasn't that chaotic. What else happened that you haven't told me about? I thought you must know it better than anyone else. You were the one who flirted with the master of ceremonies and encouraged him to drink wine excessively, which made him so drunk that he peed his pants and started using vulgar language in front of the crowd. Honestly, that was the most embarrassing part of the whole wedding. <laughs> I think quite the opposite. It was the funniest part of the wedding. I mean, everyone was laughing and having a great time together. Come on, you'd be lying if you said it wasn't the best wedding ceremony ever. How many times do I need to repeat myself? I don't find that funny at all, not even a little bit. And I don't need that kind of humor in my wedding, thank you. Fine, fine, you're only 28 and you're already acting like a grumpy old hag. What's your problem? Can't you just relax and enjoy the moment for once? If I were Logan, I would have dumped you a long time ago. You're literally the most boring person on earth, Grace. What are you even talking about? I never thought you could be so cruel to your own sister. Your words are hurtful and disappointing. I thought you were a better person than this, Sarah. Well, I didn't say that for no reason, you know? What I'm trying to say is, Logan ticks all the boxes of a perfect man. In fact, he's literally the epitome of perfection. He's got everything going for him. Looks, money, and a kind heart. And most important of all, despite all the drama that happened at the ceremony, he was still determined to go through with the wedding. Well, on behalf of my husband, thank you. You, on the other hand, <laughs> are a shining example of what it means to be a wet blanket. You have all the personality of a damp sponge and the charm of a used tissue. You surely struck the jackpot by getting married to Logan, Grace. Congratulations! I'm really happy for you. Are you sure you're happy for me, Sarah? Because it doesn't seem like it based on the way you said and behaved at my wedding. Of course I do! As I always said, we're sisters, right? Sisters always have each other's back. But please, hold on to your newfound family. Because who knows how long your little happiness will last. After all, life is always full of surprises, don't you think? And what do you mean by that, Sarah? Well, I'm just saying, you know. Sarah, are you there? We need to talk. 
immediately. Well, yeah, I'm here. What's the big deal? It's only 10 in the morning and it's Sunday, Grace. I know you have to wake up early to slave away for your family, but I'm still a free bird and I'm not tied down to anyone. At least be more considerate and let me enjoy my freedom. Well, I didn't want to disturb your precious sleep, but this is important. What is it? Tell me already. Gosh, I swear, if I ever become president, the first law I'll pass is a law that will punish anyone who disturbs other people's sleep with jail time. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick. I heard that you have been spreading rumors about me to my friends and colleagues. They say that you've been gossiping about me being cocky and that I don't need anyone in my life because I'm rich now and they are not on my level. Is this true? Wait, who told you that? Was it your colleague, Judy? Ugh. I knew I couldn't trust that little snitch. I told her a million times to keep her mouth shut. So, you just admitted you did that? Well, yeah, I mean, no, I didn't. Look, I know you're probably wondering if I'm making this up, but I'm not. Everything I said is true. So why should I be guilty of spreading fake rumors? What do you mean by that, Sarah? Well, you know what I was talking about better than anyone, don't you? Ever since you got married to your wealthy husband, Logan, you've completely changed. You used to be the kind and caring older sister that I look up to, but now you're just plain bossy and reasonable and you dismiss everything I have to say. I'm not sure what you mean by changed. I'm still the same person I've always been. If anyone has changed, it's you. You've been acting really strange lately, and I barely recognize you anymore. I really don't know what's going on with you. For goodness sake, just because you're old and boring doesn't mean everyone else has to be. Not only did you make a mess at my wedding, but you also bad-mouthed me? You even told someone that I'm a shameless married woman who tries to seduce younger colleagues. You know what? That simple lie could destroy my whole life, marriage, and career. And what's not true about that? It's clear that you and Jackson have a close bond. You're always laughing and joking around with each other, and you even make time to go out together outside of work. Jackson's only 24, isn't he? You have a very keen eye for younger men, sis. I must give you credit for that. <laughs> Imagine if Logan knew all about this. <laughs> He'd be boiling with anger. That's what I also wanted to ask you about. How did Logan know about Jackson? Did you tell him? Hmm, maybe, maybe not. But why does it matter anyway? If you're not hiding anything from Logan, then why don't you tell him about your friendship with Jackson? I didn't tell my husband about Jackson because there's nothing to talk about. We're simply co-workers. We work at the same department and we have to communicate in order to get the work done. It's a good thing that Logan trusted me enough not to believe your gossip about me and Jackson. He didn't buy it? Ah, oh, well, what a shame. <laughs> Guess all my efforts go down the drain again. What effort? What are you trying to do, Sarah? I seriously don't understand what's going on in your head right now. Listen, Sarah, I don't mean to accuse you of anything, but you gotta tell me the honest truth. You're not happy with me marrying Logan, are you? Me? No! Of course I'm happy for you guys. Why do you keep asking me that question over and over again? Well, if you really feel that way, then you should start acting accordingly from now on. Grace, you'd better say something to me because this is just unbearable. Sarah, please calm down and tell me what happened. Did someone hurt you? You bet. I'm currently experiencing a state of extreme psychological distress. I have never been subjected to such a humiliation in my entire life. It was so bad that I even thought about ending my own life. Sarah, I know you're going through a tough time at the moment. And I'm so sorry. You know I love you more than anything in the world. 
and I want to help you in any way I can. Please, just tell me what's wrong so I can lend you a helping hand. What's wrong? Why don't you go ask your husband? He knows better than anyone. But I'm sure that even if you knew the truth, you would still defend him and blame me. After all, he's your husband. And me? I know for sure that you stopped considering me your sister a long time ago. Sarah, why are you saying this? Please tell me what happened between you and Logan. Oh, you want to know what happened? He sexually harassed me. Now you know that. Happy? What? How could it be? He didn't tell me anything about it. Sarah, honey, I think there must be some kind of misunderstanding here. <laughs> See? I knew you would take his side. You never believe anything I say anymore. Well, I'm not worried about that because I have material evidence that can expose your husband's dirty deeds. In fact, my video has already gone viral on TikTok. You can see it for yourself if you so wish. What? What have you done, Sarah? Seriously, just tell me what's the story. Well, I went to the gym, worked out, as usual, and live stream a product review of my gym clothes. I was in the girls changing room when your husband suddenly opened the door and walked in like it was no big deal. I'm pretty sure he was following me and watching me the whole time. What? I refuse to believe my husband is that kind of person. That came as a shock to me as well, but I wouldn't be so sure about it if I wasn't the victim in this case. Logan's realization that I was live streaming was the only thing that made him back down and leave the room quickly. Honestly, if I hadn't been hosting a live stream that day, I would have been sexually assaulted by your husband. What? How could that even be possible? Look, Sarah, I watched the TikTok video you posted, and from what I saw with my own eyes, my husband was just as surprised as you were when he walked into the room. Do you comprehend the gravity of the situation, Sarah? Accusing someone of sexual assault is a serious crime that can have devastating consequences for the accused. Please take down the video and give yourself some time to reflect on the situation before making any serious allegations against Logan. See? I already predicted what your reaction would be. That was why I would rather not tell you about it because I knew that there's no way you're gonna be on my side. Now you understand why I said that you've completely changed, Grace? <laughs> well, it's totally explainable. You got your rich husband now. <laughs> what do you need me for anyway? I'm no use to you. No, Sarah. You've misinterpreted what I said. What I'm trying to say is that you should take a step back and think about the whole situation before making any assumptions. I don't care if he's your husband. No one messes with me and gets away with it. I'm gonna post that video on every social media platform there is and make sure everyone sees it. I'm going to ruin his career, his reputation, and make him regret ever crossing me. He'll wish he had never been born. Sarah, please. Don't do anything rash before I have a chance to talk to Logan. It's possible that this is all just a misunderstanding. We can resolve it peacefully without resorting to any harmful measures. You know what? I don't care. Your husband, Logan, is nothing but a dirtbag. A pervert who wants to take advantage of innocent, beautiful girls like me. <laughs> I know that this accident will have a lasting impact on me, both physically and mentally. I'm suffering from trauma and emotional damage, and it's all your husband's fault. If you're not willing to take action, I will be forced to sue him for compensation. I'm seeking a large sum of money to help me recover from the pain and suffering that I have endured. Sarah, I need you to listen to me. Logan just texted me and said that he's been inundated with hateful messages and mean words. His friends, his family, and colleagues have also started to turn their backs on him. <laughs> Serves him right. 
the mental anguish that I'm currently experiencing is so intense that it's almost unbearable. And I'm confident that your husband isn't experiencing anything even close to my level of suffering. Tell your husband that our business is not over and that I'll see him in court soon enough. Please, Sarah, can you just hear me out? My husband is currently in a state of panic because he doesn't have a slightest clue what he did to wrong you. He insists that it was an accident, but his boss has already threatened to let him go because of the damage that's been done to the company's reputation. And why should I care about his panic? He tarnished my reputation and almost destroyed my life. I think it's only fair that he gets punished for what he did. He created his own karma. Sarah, I'm really worried about Logan's current situation. He seems to be in a state of extreme distress and I need to go to his workplace to check on him. I'm sorry, but I'll have to talk to you later. Yeah, whatever. Keep justifying your husband's crime. It won't change the fact that he's in serious trouble now. Soon, Logan will be put in jail and forced to pay me a large sum of money as a restitution. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that day, Grace. You and your husband should prepare yourselves to say goodbye to the lavish lifestyle that you're enjoying at the moment. Hey, Grace. I'm surprised that Logan hasn't been summoned by the court yet. But I know, it's only a matter of time. Sooner or later, he'll be facing the consequences of his actions. Seriously, I feel sick and disgusted only by thinking about your husband. Is that so, Sarah? Why don't you keep those words to yourself? You're the one who makes me sick and disgusted. I should have seen through your facade a long time ago. If I had done that, my husband wouldn't have to go through such a tragedy that you subjected him to. Grace, what are you talking about? Hello? Need I remind you that I'm the victim here, not your twisted husband? Gosh, I can't believe he was after me the whole time. I literally get chills down my spine when thinking about the many times I sat at the same table as that monster. Please, spare me the act. You're the one who framed my husband and got him into trouble. I knew all about it. So I don't need further explanations from you because they're nothing but white lies. What? What are you talking about, Grace? What you just said doesn't make any sense to me at all. First, your husband attempted to sexually assault me. Now, you're falsely accusing me of framing him? <laughs> wow, you two are definitely two peas in a pod. A heaven-made couple, I must say. I see that you're still insisting on denying your own crime, huh? Well, well, I already submitted the video to the court as exculpatory evidence to prove my husband's innocence. But I think that alone is not enough to make you pay for your sin. That's why I just created myself a TikTok channel to make the video more widespread. What video? What on earth are you even talking about? I told you I didn't frame your husband. He was the one who targeted me and came into the ladies changing room with the intention of seeing me naked. He was abusing me. Well, why don't you open TikTok and check it for yourself? Whoa, I didn't expect it to become this viral. Guess someone's about to pay a heavy price for their crime. I'm watching the video now. Wait, it's the gym owner. What is he doing here? What? He caught me on camera while I was putting fake signs on the changing rooms? This is insane. I can't believe I was so stupid. <laughs> now I bet you have no other way but to plead guilty to your crime, huh? Serious talk here, Sarah. What drove you to come up with such a terrible scheme? If it wasn't thanks to the camera footage, everyone would be convinced that Logan actually intended to sexually harass you and his reputation would be forever damaged. Do you have any idea how severe the consequences would be? It could have literally ruined Logan's whole life and career. Oh, now you're asking me why I did that, huh? 
Why don't you ask yourself that question? You've always been better than me at everything you do. That's why people only see me as your shadow. Now you got to marry a rich and successful guy and get to enjoy a convenient life while I'm here stuck with my boring low paid job struggling to make ends meet. How do you call that fair? Sarah, what are you saying? I didn't get married to Logan because he's wealthy. I married him because I love him and he loves me too. It's never about money or anything like that. Besides, no one sees you as my shadow. Of course, I've made some achievements in my life, but I worked extremely hard to earn them. Success doesn't fall from the sky, you know. It takes hard work and dedication. Yeah, yeah, whatever. In the end, you always find a way to prove me wrong. I've had enough of your lecture already. Sarah, I know you're frustrated about your job and your career, but face the reality. Where were you while I was spending time studying for exams? You were sleeping, joining countless parties, going shopping with your friends, and now you're here beating yourself up for not getting good wages? Anyways, enough about that. Don't think I'll let you get away so easily for framing my husband. You'll be hearing from the court soon. When my video went viral, Sarah's true colors were revealed to the world. My parents and relatives were furious when they learned the truth about her actions. Soon after, she was ostracized by her friends, colleagues, and even lost her job. Well, she didn't like her job anyway, so I guess losing it wasn't a big deal for her. I wanted to punish Sarah for what she did, but I also feel sorry for her. She's my sister. And I know she's been through a lot. Even though she brought all of this on herself, I can't help but feel sympathy for her. I eventually withdrew my complaint against Sarah and removed the video exposing her crime from the internet. While social media platforms like TikTok can be great tools for promoting one's image and fame, they can also be a double-edged sword that can destroy a person's reputation in an instant. I don't want my sister or anyone else to suffer from cyberbullying so I decided to take down the video. Logan was eventually proved innocent and cleared of all the charges. Everyone who had blamed him before for the crime had to apologize. One thing I admire about my husband is that he didn't even complain once throughout this ordeal. He managed to remain calm and stood by my side, weathering the storm with me. I'm so grateful to be married to a man who is so loving, supportive, and caring. I know that he will be the perfect role model for our children in the future.